Hello everyone, it's Darkseeker here bringing you another Hearthstone video and this time we are looking at Brian Keebler's Monkey Business Warrior. Now, this is a control warrior, uh, as you can see from the cards there. However, it runs Elise Starseeker and um, that's what makes this deck pretty special. You run Elise, she gives you a map, you play the map, you get the golden monkey, you play the golden monkey, and the cards in your hand and the remaining cards in your deck all become legendaries. So, the the benefit of that, obviously, is that legendary minions can be quite overpowered. However, there are some drawbacks. Sometimes the legendaries that you get uh, are rubbish, and you almost wish that you'd had your original cards. Uh, other times, Elise comes through very, very late in the game, and by the time you get the Golden Monkey, there aren't many cards left in your hand or in your deck, so you don't really get great value uh, from a legendary standpoint. So the game in this video is, um, well, it's a, it's a druid, it's a druid matchup, and it's interesting because Elise actually gives me value, and I get a reasonable selection of legendaries, which I think help me, uh, help me win the game. So, other than that, uh, as I say, this is a standard control warrior, more or less. Uh, Justica Trueheart is really, really important because she lets you survive by armouring up in increments of four. You survive into the late game, that gives you enough time to get through your deck, to find a lease, to find the map, to find the monkey, and to go crazy with those legendaries. So, let's see what Elise does for us in this game. Let's see what she gives us. So we're going up against the Druid, and I'm going to keep Justicar. Uh, Justicar, I think, as I said to you earlier, is you know really important, letting you survive. But by keeping Justicar, the rest of my hand isn't particularly great. I mean, Bash is good. Bash contests a uh, you know a a Denarsus Aspirant. You know that's that's pretty that's pretty decent. But Apart from that, I'd really like a weapon. And I don't have one. But his turn is also pretty slow, so hero power from the druid, that's fine. Okay, another card that I can't play. So armor up it is. Oh, another hero power. So the druid is really taking things here uh, quite slowly. Right, coining out Elise I think is a, a really good option here. She's a 3-5 body. Do you have the artifact? With, you know, great animation too. A 3-5 body that will trade happily into maybe two minions. So, Shredder, yeah, she can contest a Shredder. However, I've got Bash. So we remove the early, the first body of the Shredder, and then we trade Elise in. So Elise has already got value there with one trade. That's pretty good. Wow. Ancient of Law. So... Of course, a druid on turn 5 plays a turn 7 card with Innovate. Of course, why not? Uh, that's really bad for me. Get back. So, he's drawing those cards. Sludge Belcher will take 5 damage there, and then maybe allowing me to put Elise in. Uh. No, he has swipe. Um, and he's going to clear the board. So. The Ancient of Law is still sitting on that board, and that's quite a concern. So I think I'm going to Justicar here, and the reason is, she has 3 health. I don't care really if she dies to the Ancient of Law, in fact I think it's a good trade. Uh, Shield Maiden has 5 health, I would feel bad trading a 5 health Shield Maiden with a, a 2 health. Ancient of Law, but he has an answer, and it's a, a wrath, and, well, back to square one again. Ancient of Law, still on the board. Now with a Drake. 
I could shield slam the Drake. Or, it's turn seven. Dr. Boom is green, you play Boom. So, I'm going to go with Dr. Boom here. And I'm going to see what he's got. Will he trade? Okay. He trades in the law. No, oh, Keeper of the Grove, safeguarding the land. Oh, wow. He just played a shade. Hmm. Shade of Naxxramas. Okay. Alright, so those trades were... Okay, that's fine. Um, I want to see if I can kill off the shade there with the boom bots. So, the best option, I think, is I'm going to play a Sludge Belcher. I'm going to armor up, or tank up. We'll kill off the Azadrake to give us the best possible chance of sniping the shade. That worked out really well. And so did that. So we've cleared the board. We now have control of the board with a sludge belcher. That's not good. So the emperor comes down onto the board. So we've got to kill him. And I think the best way of doing that is to execute him. Now, Sludge Belcher, well, we don't want to throw him in. Right, so we'll use our face, we kill off the Emperor, we trade in the Belcher. Belcher is still at three health, that's pretty decent. But the Druid still has a fair few cards, and he's going to draw another card. Okay. You see, at this point in time, I need to keep armouring up. Wow, there's Dr. Boo. I need to keep armouring up to put myself out of, um, out of combo range. I mean, I am out of combo range, but I need to keep clearing the board as well to make sure that I stay out of combo range. So, Dr. Boom here. Uh, excuse me. No, I want to shield slam first, because in case the bots go face, I won't be able to... Um, to shield slam. Yeah, like that. So that just did four to my face. That did three to my face. So yeah, shield slamming boom first was really important. Okay. Brawl. Oof, that's not good. So, double brawl. They're sort of dead cards in my hand and oh gosh, there's swipe. He's going he's gonna to clear my board again, isn't he? Um, double brawl is really not good here because there isn't a board to brawl. So, running two copies of Brawl, therefore, does have its drawbacks. And there comes Lotheb, and he says he sees me, and, uh, well... At least I've got a minion to play. Shield Maiden, 5-5 five, five on the board. She'll trade into Lotheb next turn, probably. Oh, he's gonna draw more cards. Okay. Oh, Wrath. So he's getting through these. He's getting through my taunting. Wow. And he goes face. So he's trying to get the armor down. He's putting. He's trying to put me in combo range. So I have to trade. And I have to use my face. We are. Keeping that board clear, trying to stop combo. I think that's that's the really important thing here. There's the other shade. Wow, Druid of the Claw in charge form with the hero power. So he's going to do five, five damage to my face here. Getting my armor count down. And there's the monkey. But here's the question. Do I want to brawl first? to make use of one copy of Brawl, just to get some value from it before I commit to the Golden Monkey. I think I do. I think I want to play it. All right, let's see what survives here. Okay, Shade survives. Wow, so I've just got Hogger, and that's really interesting. Hogger will provide me with a taunt at the end of my turn. Um, okay, silence and face. Okay. 
Wow, he, he's really finding ways to get through my taunts, isn't he? You can tell he's desperate to combo me. Right, it's a shame we can't play two cards here. So I think we just go with Hogger. So there's the taunt, and he's going to have to find a way to get through it. Oh, right, I forgot. Sorry, it's a druid. Force of nature. Oh, look, there's Savage Raw. Of course, of course he's got a way to get through my board. Why would he not have a way? It's a druid. <laughs> with, with an insane combo. Right, he's going to clear, and he's going to go face, and there we go. Okay, so my health total is now worryingly low. Illidan. Wow, that's pretty good. But not yet. Let's see what we get. Okay, so so it'll give a random minion plus one plus one at the end of my turn. Oh, it gives itself plus one plus one. Okay, so he has a shade. I have a six six. The question is, is he going to trade with anything here? Or is he going to go face? No, he's going face. So he wants to kill me with combo. So of course, he go face. Because he's used one copy of Combo, but there is still a second copy in his deck, or his hand. Ronin. Wow. The Might of Dalaran has arrived. There's Ronin. Now, there is synergy here between Ronin and Illidan. If Ronin dies, I get Arcane Missiles. Okay, so Living Roots, that's fine. And I can combo the missiles with Illidan. Brilliant. Absolutely tremendous, sure. He's just killed Ronin, and now I've got some potentially insane fireworks here. Do love fireworks. So, let's see, let's see what we can do. Um, I think we're definitely playing Illidan. The question is, do we play one copy of Arcane Missiles, uh, two copies, three copies. If we play two copies, we can still tank up, we can gain some armor, but it's going to depend, I think, on on the RNG here. So, hmm. Hello, brother. All right. Hello, brother, says Illidan, and we're going to trade to maximize the chance of killing that 4 1. Yep, that's pretty good. Big Game Hunter dies. We'll play another one. That's really bad, actually. <laughs> That's super bad. It was supposed to kill the Shredder. Okay, fine. We're not going to risk playing another copy. We have to armor up because combo is 14. Shredder is another 6 into combo. That's 20. Hero power, 21. He can do 21 damage. So I think, yeah, armoring up there was absolutely essential. He's going face. Wow. He's ignoring my board. Well, that's, I, I find that really interesting. He doesn't feel threatened by it. Cairn Bloodhoof is really, really good. Uh, it's a sticky minion. But let's let's see what the Shredder brings us. That's fine. Hmm. Let's play it just because we can. And we, we, we summon a card there, a uh, minion. Okay, um, that could have gone better, <laughs> that could have gone better, um, okay, down comes Ken, he's a sticky legendary, he's going to be hard to remove, so, I think we just trade now. Felt painful not doing the 8 damage to the face, but it's okay. So Kern gets a, a buff, a plus 1 plus 1 buff, which is pretty good. Force of Nature. Savage Raw. Yeah. There's the second copy of Combo, and he gets the hero power too. And he goes face. But that's it. I think it's over. I, I don't think there's anything he can do after this to kill me. Yeah, he concedes. So we were able to outlast him using these legendaries and using Justicar. 
absolutely fantastic. So Elise Starseeker gave us some really good value here. So this is a really fun deck to play. Is it consistent? No, not all of the time. Elise doesn't always work out. However, if you've got the legendaries, if you've got the cards, if you have LOE, I would urge you to give this a try. It is a lot of fun to play. So thanks very much for joining me, everyone, and I'll see you all again very, very soon.